I think there's an interesting evolution that we're moving through from a human red log. Yeah. It's, it's an interesting uh, story, right? When I was, I actually went to uh, my master's degree is in industrial engineering with a focus on robotics. And the story was always, you know, robots were used for things that people didn't do well, right? Log analysis, people do not do well. It's yeah. repetitive and boring and it's hard to get the context. And there's a lot of tasks that we can feed into a machine learning algorithm or an LLM to do analysis and syntactic reviews that really do help people run systems better. Uh, you know, we've, we've had this challenge for years and years where a system that generates a lot of, a lot of logs can generate a lot of information that people don't know what to do with. And, you know, when you parse the log and, and AI can look at that system and actually figure out the context and, th and do things a lot better. One of the things that we're actually starting to explore is assuming AIs are reading logs and understanding things. And how do we update the messages or add instructions into, you know, our install processes or our, our documentation or our, our UX really this, the CLI and APIs here, so that AIs get hints that make them smarter about the context that they're working in. Right. And I think there's an interesting evolution that we're moving through from a human red log yep. into the assumption of an AI red log yeah. and, and being able to make systems much, much better and more responsive for that perspective. Uh, and that's always been a fascinating transition for me because as much as we've tried to standardize log messages or put in lookup codes or things like that, it's it's difficult and, and marginal and so you know I'm, I'm excited about a time when systems can be much more self-healing just because they're easier to translate the problems into actionable results